What's the motherfucking deal, man? Welcome to The Den. I am your host, Ed Honcho. This is the best conversation on the internet because you make it so. Uh, social commentary from a realistic perspective. Man, let's let's skip all the nonsense. Let's get right into it. Hey, uh, and make sure you catch it live Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Central. We're live and every night, 10 p.m. Central, seven days a week, we're live. You can call in and share your thoughts on The Den line. But we got to get into this story, man. Shout out to Prepaid Mike who shared this with me earlier, man. The Democratic Party has finally gotten on the same page. They have finally united. They have finally come together because they were just, you know, we talk about a lot of different things here. We were talking about, you know, intersectionality. We've talked about pandering. We've talked about, you know, just some of the topics that make it difficult for Democrats to come together and, and become a united force uh, against Trump or against the Republican Party or whatever it may be. But they have finally come together on one accord and it only took something simple to figure it out. Let's talk about it, man. <sighs> have you gotten your wallpaper yet? Have you gotten it? Let's, let's just get into it. I'm not even I'm not even going to continue on with the shanties. I am, but I'm not, but I am. Um, so, a couple of articles we're going to share here. And I want to know your thoughts, man. Hit that comment section below. Tell me if you like this. Did you get the wallpaper? Tell me if you if you didn't. And if you don't know what wallpaper I'm talking about, well, you'll see in just a second. The Democratic Party has united its factions by unleashing a historically bad tweet. Oh, let's get into it. This is an article from the uh, Intelligencer, I guess, New York Mag, whatever it may be. Uh, this is a whole mood. Text boy bye. Get your exclusive wallpaper. Make sure you text, man. After this after this video, make sure you text and get your wallpaper. Um, anyway, basically, the Democrats, uh, and a boy, I don't even know where to start, I guess it's a, it's a, it's attributed to Beyonce. Um, can you imagine, if you saw the thumbnail, can you imagine Elizabeth Warren and Bernie and, and Joe Biden there at a, at a Beyonce album release party? You think they talk about it? Have you, have you heard that new Beyonce? Yeah, I was, I was listening to it in my TP. Like, get the fuck out of here. This is, this is what I'm saying. Like, we talked, we, we talked about pandering the other day. We talked about, uh... Booty Judge, Booty Gig, whatever his fucking name is. Uh, drinking with DeSus and Mero. We've talked about how all these, these candidates go on the Breakfast Club and these places like that. And now this. Who do you think they're who do you think they're targeting with, with this kind of message? Who is who is did all Democrats listen to Beyonce? Do all Democrats speak like this? Are there not more important issues to discuss? But let's get into it. Um so how can the Democrats challenge factions? I'm not going to read the whole thing. We're just going to kind of skim through it. Uh, we're a year and a half away from presidential election. The Democratic Party remains divided. One may even say a disarray. I'd say it. Uh, what can unite the party help voters see past their differences? The answer is a historically bad tweet from the party's official account. This is from the DNC. The DNC, Democratic National Convention. We already know what happened with them last time between Hillary and, and uh, Bernie and everything that went down with that. But for some reason... You know, we're just going to act like we don't know it. Anyway, get, I hope you guys are having that mood. Make sure you go and get you one. Um, basically, man, it's just saying that, you know, this clumsily adopted vernacular, that most brands have moved on from that. But uh, as a result of something almost classically beautiful, colloquialism, perfectly out of date, a teeth grindingly uncanny way, a pleading call to action, a designed harvest phone numbers, <clears throat> a design to harvest phone numbers for future spam text. And if you don't look at the bottom, it says, hey, you know, you, after you tweet this or after you, uh, I'm sorry, after you text this, you're going to be receiving future text. So go ahead, you know, get you that, that little wallpaper that I'm sure you can find something better for free on the internet, but hey, uh, at least not to collect your phone number. Anyway, it's a, it's a horrible wallpaper anyway. It's, it's terrible. But hey, if you want to go get it, go get you one, man. Uh, whatever specific merits, it's an overall success in Twitter feeds across the country. Uh, <clears throat> Bernie Bros, Hillbots, Warren Wackos, uh, Booty Judge Busters. Oh, that's a terrible, that's terrible. Booty Judge Busters. Molson Maniacs and Castro Cutups, not to mention the host of Angels and other fairy folk rallying to Marianne Williamson, have come together in a shared purpose to complain and make fun of the, Dem the Democratic Party's uh, political social media strategy. You know. If only the Democrats could run against their own Twitter account. Yeah, they'll, they'll be running against a much tougher account. Uh, this is short order, but let's get to this one. This is the one. Let me, let me get back to the bottom. This is, this is what it is right here. This is what they're, this is what they're targeting. And I'm not a Beyonce fan by any means, even being out here in Houston. I don't care what you think. Hey, look, don't, don't send a beehive after me. You know, I got, uh, I got some, some spray, some pest repellent. Don't come in with that bullshit. Uh, <laughs> 
you know, the DNC <clears throat> tried to use a Beyonce reference to tell off Trump, and the internet isn't having it. And this is this is what they look. This is what they think about y'all. This is how they. This is how they refer to it. Instead of giving you adequate information, policies, strategies as they're going how they're going to change your the outcome of your life, how they're going to better your life, they just send you Beyonce references and, and corny wallpapers. But hey, it is what it is. And again, I'm not a Trump supporter. I'm not a. I, I like to think of myself as an independent, <clears throat> but. You know, it, it's it's tough. Uh, again, when they continue to do stuff like this, it makes you always look the other way a little bit more. I my mouse. Uh, the internet has roasted the Democratic National Committee after it's engaged. It encouraged supporters to download a limited edition. Limited edition. Nothing's limited edition on the internet. At least nothing digital. Anyway, kind of skipping through that. Uh, Trump is going to win again, one critic wrote. And if they continue on this path, absolutely, it's going to be a landslide. It's going to be a historic victory because you're not hearing anything that the people care about. And you're too focused on, again, intersectionality and things that are not impacting society as a whole. But I guess if that's what you want to hear, if that's what you want to get, that's what they'll give you. Uh, Internet is roasting Democratic National Committee after encouraged supporters to download the anti-Trump phone paper. Uh, reporters on live critics, even Democratic strategists, took issue with the DNC's apparent attempt to reach younger voters with a reference to a uh, Beyonce song. Sorry. Um, Somebody's just kind of cracking a bunch of jokes, and some of these jokes said, I can connect you with a list of digital uh, media consultants who will, free of charge, give you a private feedback in order to avoid losing in 2020. Feel free to DM. Um, some compared it to when Hillary Clinton asked her Twitter followers to describe how their student loan debt makes them feel in three emojis or less in 2015. I didn't even know that happened. Wow. Wow. When Clinton asked her supporters to Pokemon go to the polls, I did not know any of this. This is terrible. That's, that's why she went Pokemon go to the polls, really. Uh, the DNC has struggled to rebuild trust with many Democratic voters and activists alienated by the group's efforts to undermine <clears throat> Bernie Sanders' 2016 presidential primary bid. What makes you think they won't do it again? I mean, there was no repercussion from that other than that major loss. But what makes you think they won't do that shit again? This is how they distract you. This is how they sell you this bullshit and, and really make you think they, they are aligned with you. Them referencing songs, is that going to improve your future? Is that going to make it better for you? Does that instill any more confidence in any of the, the Democratic candidates? I'd really like to know. I mean, if, if does this does this help them relate to you? If you are a voting Democrat, you plan on voting Democrat, I want to know how this makes you feel. Like, this is not a joke. It's not to be harsh. I know y'all know how I lean a lot of times on this channel um, <clears throat> and when we have certain conversations, but I just think what's reasonable and what's crazy. This is crazy. Okay, there, there's no other justification for it. But anyway, I want to know how you feel. If you're a Democrat, I really, truly want to know how you feel. Drop that in the comment section below. I'd love to talk to you about it. I'd love to discuss it with you. I'll try to get in the comments and, and chop it up with you. Um, Gabriela Paella, Trump is going to win again. Somewhere in the DNC, a political consultant needs a sternly worded email. A lot of little uh, comedic things. Hey, how do you do, fellow kids? That's hilarious. Um, just a bunch of craziness. I mean, you can see some of these tweets. You can go to the link for yourself and check it out. But... The, the internet always wins. You, you, you understand? The internet never loses. And this, what they have going on, is craziness. So I just kind of want to comment on because it was just the shenanigans that continue to get pushed out by the Democrats. Hey, man, look, if you want my vote, tell me what you're going to do to improve my life. Tell me what you're going to do to benefit me and my family. Tell me what you're going to do for the future. Tell me what you're going to do that is, you know, that has a purpose. This shit right here, when you don't even really have a, when more like, more like Biden is your front runner or Bernie, or whatever. Boy, bye. It's most likely going to be another man that's going to be the front runner for your campaign, right? So how does this even tie in? How does this even make sense? But again, it's it's not knowing your audience. We've talked about marketing here in a couple of, like the last few days. And again, this is another example of, of, of pandering and marketing, but people are going to eat this up. There's going to be a lot of people who think that this makes sense. Oh, yeah, hey, they, oh, they, they're, they're woke. They're witty. Then there'll be another Beyonce concert at the end, uh, right before the election, and maybe that'll get some of your votes. Because it's become a reality TV show, this whole political arena. It's become a, a, a shit show, really. But as long as people continue to accept the bullshit, as long as people continue to embrace it or willingly accept it, not saying, hey, you know what? I, I can't deal with this. I got to go somewhere else. I got I to gotta figure something out. I got to understand why they continue to do this same shit over and over and over. And instead of giving me useful information, instead of giving me results, instead of giving me policies, instead of trying to buy my vote, instead of trying to give me the same shit they've been giving me for the last however long that you may have been alive or prior to, um, when are they going to when are they gonna come with something legit, something tangible, something that people can relate to? Because right now, I, I've yet to see it. I don't know what's going on. Hey, if you've heard something, if you've got a policy that you feel like impacts you or is beneficial to you, drop in the comments below. Let me know why you're voting Democrat. If you're not voting Democrat, let me know why 
you are a, a Republican or maybe an independent or maybe you're going third party, I'd like to know how you feel because to me this is just clown shit and it's continued clown shit that happens over and over again. But hey, I ain't gonna waste too much more time on this. Got more stuff coming soon. Remember live every night, 10 p.m. Central, live every morning, weekday, every weekday morning, uh, 10 a.m. Then at 10, easiest way to remember it. And uh, make sure you check out all the, the little stuff. Uh, down there, all the social medias and, and ways that you can contact the den if you want to, you know, get your points, if you want to get some views to me. I definitely try to check all that out. But with that being said, hey, man, I'm your host, Ed Honcho. I appreciate it. It's a privilege, an honor, and a pleasure to get to chop it up. Thank you for giving me a few minutes of your time. If you made it this far, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, man, this is the best conversation on the internet. I can't wait to talk about this live tonight. We go live every night. So whenever you see this video, if it's a day from now, a week from now, a month from now, we'll be live. And if you want to call in and talk about it, feel free. But with that being said, and I'm, I'm, I'm gone. Another one.